When we vote November 3rd, 2020, we will be voting for the first time in over 50 years during a daily pandemic. Tips for voting safely. Protect yourself from COVID-19 while casting your vote. Make a voting plan early. Have a backup plan for your plan. Come prepared. Make sure to have your protective mask, napkins or tissues, hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol or disinfectant wipes. Check the data. It's critical to know if the virus is spreading in your local area before you decide to go to the polls. Your county's virus status can be found in real time on several national trackers, such as the one maintained by John Hopkins. Know your risks. People with the following conditions are more likely to have a serious reaction. People 85 and older, a serious heart condition such as heart failure, coronary artery disease, or cardiomyopathy, cancer, or recovering from cancer, sickle cell disease, chronic kidney disease, solid organ transplantation, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, anyone with a BMI over 30. LAVote.net Vote by mail, the safe, accessible, and preferred voting option in 2020. Beginning with the November 3rd, 2020 general election, all registered voters will be mailed a vote by mail ballot to ensure a safe and accessible voting option during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mailing of vote by mail ballots are mailed no later than 29 days prior to election day. How to return your ballot. There are multiple options on how to return your ballot. By mail, remember no postage is necessary, in person at any vote by mail drop box location at any vote center in LA County. If your ballot is postmarked by election day and received within 17 days by the department, they will process, verify, and count that ballot. Forgot to sign the envelope for your vote by mail ballot? If you return your vote by mail ballot without signing the return envelope, you will be mailed a document called the unsigned ballot statement asking for your signature. Your signature is required to verify your identity and process the ballot. You have up to 28 days after election day to return the statement for your ballot to be processed. Dropping off your mail-in ballot. Some voters plan to deliver their mail and ballot in person. If you have to wait outside, be sure to wear a mask and practice at least six feet social distancing recommendations. Also make sure to immediately use hand sanitizer. If you will be voting in person at your polling place, please review the CDC's recommendation on protecting yourself and your family. Vote center days and hours. Voters can safely vote in person at any vote center in the county. Select vote centers will be available beginning Saturday, October 24th. All vote centers will be available beginning Friday, October 30th. Vote centers will be open every day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. during the early voting period. On election day, vote center will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m.
Ballot drop box. About the vote by mail drop box program. The vote by mail ballot drop box program started in 2017 as an initiative to provide voters with a secure alternative option for returning their ballot. In the March 2020 primary election, the number of boxes throughout the county expanded to 206. These boxes remain secure and accessible throughout the entire voting period. In the 2020 presidential general election, there will be more than 400 secure drop box throughout the county, giving voters a safe, accessible, and contact-free method to return their ballot during COVID-19. 400 secure drop boxes available to all voters begin in October 5th. What you need to know. Drop boxes are available to voters beginning October 5th through Election Day, November 3rd at 8 p.m. Drop boxes are bolted securely into cement or chained in place. Drop boxes are designed with security features identified in state regulations. Drop boxes have an exterior coating to reduce permanent graffiti or damage. Ballots are picked up regularly by two election workers. The Registrar Record County Clerk is in direct communication with law enforcement agencies, cities, local stakeholders, and community-based organizations to monitor and safeguard all boxes. Questions to have if voting in person. What's the level of protection that will be in place at your assigned poll station? Will you be spending the majority of your wait standing outside? Are masks required of both voters and poll workers? Will six feet space markers be visible on floors to control social distancing? Will there be a separate entrance and exit from the voting area? Will there be a plexiglass barrier between the voter and the poll worker? Will poll workers be wearing face shields, surgical masks, and gloves? Will there be adequate space between voting privacy booths? Will poll workers sanitize frequently touch surfaces such as door handles, voting booths, and bathrooms regularly? Election Protection You have the right to vote. If anyone tries to stop you, call the Election Protection Hotline at 1-866-687-8683. Provisional Voting Provisional voting has been used in California since 1984. Once voted, a provisional ballot is placed in a pink envelope and secured for processing. Provisional ballots are counted after election officials have confirmed the validity of the voter's registration and that the voter did not already vote in the election. When is provisional voting necessary? Name not found in roster. Voter appears to vote at the wrong polling location. Roster state VBM issue and voter does not have unvoted vote by mail ballot to surrender. Roster state new and voter does not provide ID. Why provisional voting? Provisional voting ensures that no properly registered voter is denied his or her right to cast a ballot if that voter's name is not in the roster due to clerical, processing, computer, or other error. Provisional voting allows the registrar record county clerk the ability to verify that no voter mistakenly votes twice in any given election. A voter may vote a provisional ballot at any polling place in the county in which they are registered to vote. However, only the contest that the voter is eligible to vote for will be counted.